We make choices every day, big and small. Some decisions might be more straightforward, like what to wear or what to eat. But other choices, especially when it comes to substance use, can be much more complex and may have a lasting impact on your brain, overall health, and your future. During your teen years and into young adulthood, your brain is like a city under construction, constantly building new roads and removing the ones that aren't used as often through a natural process called synaptic pruning. A key brain chemical that helps strengthen the most used roads is dopamine. When you do something healthy, like exercising or eating a protein-rich meal, your brain releases dopamine, a feel-good chemical that acts as a reward. This reinforcement helps strengthen those brain pathways or roads, making you more likely to repeat those actions in the future. But when substances like tobacco, cannabis, or alcohol enter the picture, things get complicated. These substances are harmful to your body and can cause damage like liver disease, lung issues, issues with your heart, and even cancer. You'd expect your brain to refrain from releasing dopamine to discourage those actions in the future and weaken those roads, right? Unfortunately, that's not the case. These substances can trick your brain, triggering dopamine releases that are sometimes even higher than what you get from exercising or eating certain foods. This creates a problem. The brain's reward system, designed to reinforce beneficial behaviors, gets hijacked, and as a result, harmful behaviors become more likely to be repeated and priorities change. Over time, this can lead to regular substance use and even addiction, where your body craves the drugs or you feel awful. What makes the adolescent brain particularly vulnerable is that it's still under construction. The brain develops from back to front with the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for decision-making and impulse control, being one of the last areas to mature. Until this area is fully developed, your brain is less equipped to control impulses or think long-term, making it easier for substances to take hold and to actually change the construction of your body. As a result, it's easier to develop dependency on substances, feeling like you need the substance to feel okay, even if it's harming your health, school, or relationships. So when is the brain considered to be fully developed? The brain is considered to reach full development around age 25. At this time, your brain has already built stronger guardrails or decision-making checkpoints that make it harder for substances to trick you. While misuse or dependence can happen at any age, it's more common in younger, developing brains. It's also important to understand that substance misuse and dependency don't happen overnight. It can be a slow process that can sneak up on you and can depend on which drugs you are using, your body size, age, genetics, and other factors. The more someone uses substances, the more their brain craves the dopamine rush, reinforcing the behavior. This gradual buildup can be sped up by certain substances, depending on how your brain is developing. The best way to protect your brain and overall health is to avoid using addictive substances altogether. But if you do choose to use, it's safest to delay until around age 25, when your brain has had more time to develop. While these two methods are the most effective at protecting your health, there are several other steps you can take to reduce potential harm. Harm reduction strategies, such as choosing not to use, gaining drug knowledge, ensuring a good internal mindset and external environment if using, making sure not to mix substances, and resisting media influence can help minimize the risks. So, the next time you're faced with a choice, remember, choosing not to use drugs at all, or to at least delay if you're going to use, isn't just about avoiding substances, it's about investing in your future. Giving your brain the time it needs to fully develop can help you make healthier decisions now and in the long run. To learn more about substance use as a whole and how to protect yourself from the harms of substance misuse, visit the Stanford Reach Lab website. If you or someone you know is looking for support or guidance on quitting, you'll find helpful resources listed here. Be sure to follow us on social media for more tips, updates, and support. Thank you so much for watching.